So we have burnt sienna, ivory black, phthalo blue, but I don't know if I'll actually use that one. I don't, I don't know if I want this to all be trees at the top or if I want it in the sky. We'll figure it out. Titanium white, Hanzi yellow, Indian yellow, yellow ochre, naphthal red. Those are the colors. So let's uh, yeah, let's let's get started. Okay. Mm, I might just do a little tiny bit of blue. And it'll be right in the middle. But I imagine most of this will be covered up by trees. So I'm not super worried about it. And this is going to be kind of off of a picture, not really a picture, but a place in uh, the mountains of North Carolina. They've got a place called the, I think it's the Road to Nowhere, but it's just like a, it's a tunnel in the middle of the mountains that is only accessible via, they do like a ferry. So there's a, road, a really nice road and a really nice tunnel there, but you can only get to it at certain times of the year. People love going there because it's a nice hiking hiking trip. All right, so there's the outline of the tunnel, and then I might put where I want the road to be, just gently tap in a shape for a road. And then this up here is all this is all going to be trees. I'm just putting in colors right now. And then here, I believe it's surrounded by bricks. I'm gonna be doing a lot of bricks there. And then maybe dirt comes down the side. And it's all red clay, because this is North Carolina, and here we got lots of red clay. Elvis Presley, <laughs> hello Elvis, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh, and I did think I fixed the night bot. Um, I changed the default settings. It was, it was uh, set to one, one emoji. It counted as spam, so if you did two emojis, it thought you were spamming, so I changed it to five. So you can use five emojis in a row and be okay. So you shouldn't have that. <laughs> we had that problem last week. All right, we gotta put in a bunch of tree shapes. And I'm gonna use a little bit of brown, a little bit of black, and a little bit of white. And a little bit more white. And this is just gonna be fluffy tree shapes. That's all I really need for the background. It's, it's very, uh, very simple. And maybe here I'll push in. It goes right. I think it went right next to the top of this. And then at the bottom it was all columns of bricks. So we'll see how we make those. I haven't really thought it through very well yet. You got an email? I want to send you a pic of the sea stacks. <laughs> I do. I do have an email. Um, it's admin at paintbynate.art. And uh, if Nightbot ever comes around, he'll, he has the links to it. And I also have a, I made a Discord. I don't know if anyone actually uses Discord here, but I made one. And it's also in the links if you want to feel free to join and post stuff there. That's nice. Need it a little bit darker in the corner. That's nice. All right. I'm just going to keep doing more of the same. Just burnt sienna and ivory black, really. That's uh, the colors of the day. There we go. 
Sorry if that's rattling too much. Maybe I'll move that up. A little bit better. At some point I need to fix my canvas because it's kind of, or my easel, because it's kind of letting loose here. <laughs> some of the, the wing nuts have come unscrewed. Maybe one more layer here in the front. But after that, I'm just going to add in some, uh, we we'll added some branches, no branches, uh, what are they called? Trunks. Trunks of the trees, that's what I'm going to add in. Maybe some more of the black there. And then we'll just throw this in. Here and there. Throughout. That one might be a little big, but that's okay. Some there. Might not be as noticeable. Maybe I'll aim for the light spots, and they'll stand out a little bit more. Maybe that'll work. Oh yeah, that's way better. So if you're doing this, aim for the light spots. <laughs> they stand out more. All right, maybe one there. There we go. And I'll take white. And a little bit more brown, burnt sienna. And a little bit of white. Probably put out too much titanium white for this painting, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to go back over those a little bit. They don't have to be exact, I don't think. Maybe they do, I don't know. A little bit more white here. Just a touch. Maybe that'll help stand out. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't want too far to the left. Sometimes you miss. That's okay. There we go. And then in front of these, I'll probably just put lighter colors. I'm not really trying to put more dark colors up here. Maybe I will, I don't know. Maybe in the front. We'll see. It's kind of hard to aim the palette knife this way. Maybe I should aim it that way. But next time. Wipe this off. Nope, there's Nightbot. It should have the link in there, hopefully. All right, now we want to put in some nice fall colors here. I don't know if I want to use the one inch brush. She has a stray hair I can see already. Get that out of here. Or the two and a half inch brush. I'll start with this one. Maybe add a little bit of white, magic white to the top. And then I'll go an Indian yellow. I like Indian yellow for my fall colors. I don't know why. It just looks nice to me. All right, let's start putting in these up here on the right side. And then maybe some yellow, Hansa yellow. Can't remember if I said I was using Hansa yellow. Here and there. Yellow ochre. Probably just alternate this all the way across. Go back to the yellow. If I was using cad yellow, it would probably stand out more, but that's okay. Actual cad yellow. Here at the bottom, I might make it a little darker too. Add in some brush and bushes and stuff. But we can do that later. Right now, we're just throwing stuff in. Indian yellow. Back to yellow ochre. I do kind of want to throw some more back in the bottom there. Or black, sorry, not black. <laughs> what did I say? Something goofy. There we go. 
trying to get this all filled in. And I believe the bridge will probably take most of the time, or the tunnel, sorry, not the bridge. <laughs> if we were making a bridge, probably start it off a little. Actually, you could probably put a bridge still in here if you wanted to. All right, there's the background. I'm gonna throw in some more dark color at the front just to make it interesting, I don't know. It's just umber and, or not umber, sienna and ivory black. Sienna, ivory black. I think I said those in reverse. That's okay. All right, there we go. Maybe it comes up on the sides. I don't know, I'll kind of push this stuff in. Let me do it like that. One day, try scratching the tree areas with the back of a brush. I like the back of a, with back of a um, fan brush or some grip liner. That could work. I like the one inch brush. brush is sharp enough. <laughs> it might be. I could do it with a script liner maybe. Also it looks way different when I look at the screen it looks way different on there than up here. I don't know why. Use the back of a regular brush. really good. <laughs> Thanks Uncle 60 for he has all the good tips. <laughs> That's fun. I like that. Cool. All right. Where was, I think I was down here. I think I was actually done with this so I'm probably done with this section. We can start on the uh, the bricks. I haven't painted something like this before, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna use, what am I gonna use here? I have a few brushes that might work for this. I think the best one would probably be this little flat brush. It's a very tiny flat brush. And we're just gonna start with some squares. Actually, I wonder if, no, let's just, let's just put in some brick shapes first and then we'll see. These are just gonna be kind of sporadic blocks and then I'm going to come in here in a bit and cover them with um, I use white to highlight it not white uh, white and sienna sorry way better. I should have done that. I was doing it too horizontal there. And then now we're getting into the magic white so things are going to get a little dicey. I'm trying to remember how white it was. I can't remember. I think maybe it goes like over here, and over here. Yeah, it seems right. Um, Perspective-wise, I think it looks right. I don't know if it's actual to to scale on the actual tunnel. I'm just kind of tapping and pulling to the right. I don't know. Probably a better way to make bricks. The only other time I've done something like that is with the, uh, what is it, the palette knife. I've made bricks with that before. 
I haven't really done it with this brush ever. I imagine it's the same concept. Might take a little while. <laughs> it's not the biggest brush. But I think it does look okay. Um, I like the, uh, the size of it is pretty good for bricks. Not sure how I'm going to do these ones, but that's the story of this painting. I don't really know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to figure it out as we go. And one more row here, I believe. And it is interesting when you flip the brush over, they change as more more of the paint on it so it changes in between so like one got kind of gray and the other one's dark black that's pretty cool all right i think that's good there this side that side's looking good this side's looking a little rough We've got a bunch of rhombuses over here <laughs> maybe we can fix them oh yeah we can fix those easy peasy Here we go. Stone bridges are tricky. You end up using many different colors mixed on top of each other to simulate stone. Interesting. So I'll have to use different colors. Oh yeah, that's true. I think this side's not coming out as good as the other side. <laughs> I don't know why though. I think it's just the angle. Maybe if I hold the brush different, that'll help. Oh yeah. A little bit. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it's just the it's easier for me to pull that way than it is to pull this way. All right, let's keep working down this bridge. Go back up here. That part's good, I think, up there. some more there and this is I think I'm just using ivory black with a little tiny bit of burnt sienna that found its way in and flip the brush over make it a little darker here and there there we go that's actually come out okay wouldn't say it's phenomenal but it's, they look kind of like bricks might need the uh, script liner or something to detail around the edges. Mm -hmm. Got some there. Oh, that's one thing I keep doing. I hold it this way. <laughs> As I paint them, my, my brush angle droops down. So I gotta keep, pay attention to that so we don't do it. Is that a bridge? Eh, we gotta work on the top a little bit. I probably should have put the middle in. <laughs> I was not thinking about this, but I should have painted that. I might have should have painted that section first because it's gonna be solid black. And I might mess up my uh, bricks around the edge because I didn't do it first. that in. Now we 
gotta do this middle part. Let's see how we're gonna do this. There's a very tiny speck in the middle that is not black. And I've probably already done it wrong. But the rest of this is very dark. And then towards the edges it gets more light. If I was thinking ahead, I probably would have put a piece of tape or something over the middle there. Because then you wouldn't, wouldn't have to worry about getting it dirtied with colors. Like I do here. This is just straight ivory black here. Mm. Yeah, I definitely put that too far to the, what is that, middle? Let's rethink. <laughs> we could change it, we can change it. destroying this brush. This is probably not the way this brush is meant to be used. <laughs> but that's okay. And I'm pulling around the edge to make it kind of straight or more straight than it was. I'll add more dirt color here around the side. Went for burnt sienna there. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this little section here in the middle. It'll be tricky. I should be pulling this way. This side over here is probably too light. All right, one more on the bottom, I think, on this side. Hopefully. Kind of messed up that top left side there. So I'll try to fix that here in a bit. Right now I'm just putting in this dark color. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fix that yet, but we'll fix it. We'll fix it up and it'll look fine. Okay, here we go. Just blending out this dark colors in here. Actually, I might use a different blender brush for this. All right, let's just go this way first. I just use the um, this is a blender, just a blender, blender brush there for that clean up a bit. Now let's see, let's see how we're gonna fix this this corner. I don't like this corner. See, I kind of screwed it up right here. Let's see. 
would be a good way to get this off. One way we can start is just using this towel. Very small, very small strokes with the towel. Next time I do this, I'll definitely use a, uh, what would I use? I'd use a piece of tape. That would have helped a lot. But you, you, look, you paint and you learn. All right, let's see. What kind, what kind of color do we want back here? We want it to be bright. Sure. I don't know. What color is this? Yellow? I just used Indian yellow and something else. White and. I guess there's some black still on here from the mistake. <laughs> you know, not a mistake, happy accident, what do they call it? I, probably won't, I don't think you can see anything at the end of the tunnel either. It just looks like there might be something nice on the other side of it. Richard Spencer is here. Hello, Nate. Awesome work, buddy. Thanks, Richard. Much appreciated. We're just trying to paint a tunnel right now, and it's a... Uh, a little bit of a struggle, but we're making progress. All right, so I use the filbert brush there at the end of the tunnel, and I'm not, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to touch the tunnel anymore. So I'm gonna maybe come back to it at the end, but for now, we'll leave it alone. We'll go back to the bricks. All right, so around the sides here, I need to fill in this side, so I didn't go far enough with the actual bricks here. I'm just going to fill this in around the sides of the uh, tunnel. It was a little crooked there, but that's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just fixing wherever I still have brown sticking out. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. All right. Some there. I think there's some there. It's hard for me to tell at this point. Things kind of blended together. All right, maybe some. Try and fix up some of these where the spots of the canvas is still sticking out. We don't want any spots in those. Maybe we do. I don't know. It does make them look a little bit more like bricks if they have spots on them. I might actually switch the palette knife <laughs> and do it the, the speedy way. I mean, not the speedy way, but the way that I've done before. A little bit simpler. All right, let's get rid of whatever that color was. I can't tell. Something yellow. Mm -hmm. Use some white, black, brown, sienna. Maybe more white. Not mixed it up too much though. Where do we want to start? Up here. Mm. Just going over these bricks with the small side. This is going to probably take a while. So hopefully, don't, nobody gets too bored. I've got brown, red sienna, ivory black, and titanium white kind of, I want to say heavily mixed, but what do they say, marbled? It's a little marbled, marbly. Got some up there, over here. Probably could use more white than that, but that's okay. We can make a second pass at some point. If not now, we can do it in the future. Mm. Yeah, it probably would have been a lot faster to just use this knife with. Instead of the uh, flat, tiny flat brush. I think it's a quarter, not a quarter flat. Maybe it is a quarter flat brush, I can't remember. It's one of the um, Kevin Hill brushes. Alright, let's just 
keep working our way, working our way across. Hopefully this mixes with some of the color we put on the bottom. I think it does, a little bit. these ones along the side. There we go. That, those ones came out really good. I don't know if you can see them, but maybe a little bit. It is kind of a dark, uh, a dark painting we got here. All right, just keep going around. All the bricks should be slightly red. I don't know if I started it that way, but it's like everything in here in North Carolina, they use red clay for everything. So you got red bricks, red dirt, <laughs> everything's red. And we work down the side. There we go. I think I missed one here in the middle, right there. Here, there, there, there. I have to mix up some more of this, but I don't really want to rush, rush putting in the bricks, other than using the palette knife, of course. Could have done this with the flat brush all the way. This is a little bit more easier on my on my brain. All right, Let's go across there. Mix up some more of that sienna, ivory black, a little bit of white, marbled, a little bit more white. There we go. All right, back to this side. Here, this one's almost, this side's almost good up top. Might need a little bit more up here. I'm using the same, uh, it's the same pressure that I use when I'm highlighting mountains. I don't know if I say specific when I was saying how I was highlighting these, but it's really just the same light, light kind of touch. I'll use the script liner to go in between these with something like a gray color and down gray or something. But I'm thinking about it. Thinking about what I might do. Let's see. Something here. And I think I can't tell if these are red or not. I think they're just gray. some in here so I'll throw some in there too this came out okay tunnel is cool canvas spots on the stones looks good dry brush perspective dark gray marks coming from the small tunnel oh interesting that's a good idea small 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 oh, I lost the chat small tunnel opening to the larger opening Dark gray marks. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Dark gray. So I need some white, a little bit of white and gray. Let's see. 
dry brush perspective, dark gray marks. You mean with the backside? I don't know if anyone can see this. <laughs> Maybe you can. Oh, picked up some of that corner. up here but something on this camera smells really good <laughs> I don't know if I did that right we'll see did I miss any bricks I, don't know, I might cover up some of the top with something but I do want to fill in the spaces a little bit here I'll use basically the same colors with some oil. Linseed oil, script liner, and maybe some black, a little bit more black. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> I want it to be a little bit darker. And then I can just fill in some of these spaces. Or where there should be spaces, sorry. Should have specified. Let's see. Anywhere there's like two bricks that I've made that look kind of the same color to me, I, can't, I just want to fill that in. Like right here, I think I messed that up a little bit, put the bricks on top of each other. Maybe right here. Let's see, where else did I do that? I did that kind of right here. Definitely in here. And maybe we'll just fill this in. Maybe it look like mortar or something. Gotta be more careful when I'm doing the detail stuff. That's one thing I need to work on. I go kinda too hard into the canvas sometimes. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, but just something you gotta be aware of. Be aware of when you're painting. Let's see. I think this side looks mostly good. Nothing. This side definitely came out better than the other side. It might have just been the, the angle that I was holding the brush, but I think it came out a lot better. I can fix that line I just made off the side easy enough. Some more in here. I think that's good. I don't know. It's a tunnel. <laughs> it's a tunnel and uh, some bricks. That was kind of hard. But we learned. We learned some stuff about tunnel offset and shadows. That's a good tip, though. I don't know if we can see it on the screen, but it definitely looks like the, you can see the shape of a road in there now. All right, now for the, let's work on the, what should we work on next? Maybe cover up the corners. I'll use a fan brush for this part, but. Could use some of that thin paint. Up on the tops here, just adding some. Around some of these bricks that are a little off shaped that I might've gone too fast on. Or not thought about when I was doing them, especially up here. These ones don't—they don't look like they fit the rest of the top of the tunnel very well. Okay, and this is just—I was using like a almost a dry fan brush, but it did have some oily ivory black in it. That's the only difference. I'm just trying to cover up some of these misplaced bricks. Alright, I think that's good enough. Oh, my neck's kind of hurting too. Alright, let's go. Are we ready to close it in? I guess we can close the, close the tunnel down. 
let's use black and black and brown. That's the colors of the day. Or the colors of this painting rather. I gotta be careful because it's gonna be very easy to destroy, completely destroy that side of the, the painting. And we'll tap straight in here. Throw some dark colors down. It's almost dried here. I don't know if I didn't put enough magic light on or what happened there. But... All right, we gotta be careful. That could be a little bit more dark. There we go. Honestly, it might be okay to just go over the side a little bit there. Shouldn't be too worried about it. I think I'm worrying too much. I shouldn't be. Maybe we can tap down. Right at the edge of the tunnel. And then I'm going to highlight that anyway so it doesn't have to be. This is just dark colors. Alright. And then this side. Just push in. If you push it in the same spot over and over, it just blends it out and doesn't destroy everything. But you have to be a little careful with it. Because if you go too much, it'll ruin everything. Alright, then just push in some more color down there. And then this part, I might just <laughs> mark where I want the road to be. Because there is kind of a road still there, I think. It's just covered with branches and all kinds of stuff. All right, here we got a crooked tunnel. <laughs> it looks like it's landing that way, and uh, some trees. All right, that's okay though. Let's uh, let's get to highlighting as I throw my brush across the room. All right. I'll just use ochre. So I like ochre for this. Maybe not too much though. Just here and there. Especially on the side next to the uh, tunnel. Go do it. Whoops, that's Indian yellow. <laughs> Indian yellow and ochre. I accidentally picked one. I might scratch in some extra foliage down here, sticks and whatnot. Right, there we go. With that I think that's okay. Good enough, at least. Might want some more on the other side. bright though. Maybe that's too bright. Probably going to be too bright here. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> too bright? Not bright enough? I like it. <laughs> Alright, and then let's see. Maybe some more on that other side. Right here. Just a little bit, I don't know. I say a little bit and then I do the entire thing, but just to make it stick out a little bit, a little bit more. Then we'll grab this brush. It's my two inch that I was using, it's kind of dirty. And I'll just come in, do the rest kind of green, green and yellow. Or green and yellow ochre, sorry. That side's okay. Maybe add some Indian yellow. Make it look more fall. I don't know if that looks better or worse. Probably worse. But that's okay. Touch up the top here a little bit. With some foliage. And then we gotta do something in the middle, I guess. 
let's see. What's a good middle color here? Umber. Umber and white. That's usually pretty good. On the filbert. Let's just pull it all the way across. This is an old dirt road. I might add a branch or something in here too. Somewhere around the middle maybe. I don't really know. Oops, <laughs> that was some of the bricks color that I picked up there. I'll just blend this out here in a sec. Let's add a let's add a branch here. A branch or two. Big log in the middle of it. Because it is kind of blocked off. Let's see. Uh, maybe I'll blend this out just a little bit. Too many brush strokes. All right, let's get the, uh, what was I going to do? I already forgot. Oh, we're going to make a little, little branch or a log. I'll just use straight sienna for this. Leave sienna left over black. Let's see where it goes. I don't want to block the whole road, but maybe we can put one here. You're just kind of dangling off to the side. And then I'll put some brush around the bottom. Leaves and whatnot. Like he's growed up in weeds. This is just the filbert brush too. I don't know if I said that. That's what I'm using. I did pick up a little bit of blue. I don't know. I feel like the bottom part of this could be some blue. At least for a log. Some branches on the side of them. Let's do that. With this script liner, some oil, some brown. There's one. Maybe we got another biggish, big one here. He's a little bit bigger. Maybe one snapped off and he's just hanging out over here. In the, in the weeds. Sometimes that happens. All right. Then we'll go back into the uh, Indian yellow. Tap around the bottom. Might make it a little bit, bit darker here, but that's okay. Push that in. And then I'll go over the bottom one more time because I messed up those uh, these little bushes here. There we had some highlight right there. Just a little bit. I think that's okay. Hmm. I don't know. I think that's okay. Hey, Nate. Nice to see you. Hi, Paul. How's it going? I think we just finished this one. Or finished enough. We could probably spend a lot more time on it, but details and whatnot. One thing I might do first. Just add some streaks to the streaks to the, the down tree over here. Make him look more like a tree. Could do that beforehand, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> I like making mistakes and then trying to fix them. Alright. Let's get some thin oil and for this red. And we'll sign it. Probably could have made the top darker, I think. But that's why we do it. We learn. We learn stuff. All right. Let's rip liner into the naphthol red. We'll sign here. That is a very large signature today, but that's okay. 
Sometimes you need a big signature. All right. This looks awesome. That tunnel looks amazing. Yeah, the tunnel was a lot of tips from Uncle 60. It definitely helped a lot. Like, lots and lots of good tips there. All right. Let's see, let's see. Can you see that? Yeah, so this is, uh, it's called the Road to Nowhere. It's a tunnel in North Carolina, but this is just my, my painting of it. So, there we go.